In the previous videos, you have seen how to make connections to your YSX6 flight controller, IMU unit, GPS, and all the other modules. In this video, we will see how to install the YSX6 modules, all the modules that we connected in the previous uh, video on the frame or the quadcopter or multirotor that you are going to use. Please remember that the frames that you are going to use for YSX6 autopilot system are going to be different. You might be installing it on a quadcopter like this 650, onlyflyingmachines.com's 650v4, or you can install the YSX6 on the F450, okay? You can install it on a hexacopter. So remember that the frame that you're going to use is going to be different. Okay, so there is no certain rule that you have to follow this video on the installation. This video is just for a reference. You have to see, according to your frame, which module goes where, and then fit them, install them accordingly, connect them accordingly. So we are going to use this onlyflyingmachine.com's uh, 650v4 quadcopter in this video as a reference, and you will see how I'm installing everything on this machine. Uh, after the installation is done, we will see how the things are looking and we will make connection between YSX6 and our smartphone Android device and, in the few, and, and then we will go out, give it a flight, do some testing on all kind of features and after the testing we will also see how to use joystick to fly your quadcopter or multirotor with the joystick. So here we go, let's begin. Okay, installation should be very, very straightforward. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick... What I'm going to do is going to show you a quick layout or my plan on how to install. So take this one just as a reference, okay? And then according to your multi-rotor, you can install the YSX6 components. Now, as you can see, the main controller is right here, okay? and this is the front of my quadcopter so I will install the main controller so the words are not upside down they are easily to read from my orientation sitting behind the quadcopter okay right on top of the flight controller I'm gonna mount the IMU unit and you can see the arrow of IMU unit should point to the forward section of your quadcopter or multirotor when mounting the IMU unit, it's just a tip that try to make sure, no matter where you mount your flight controller, but try to make sure that your IMU unit should be mounted as close as possible to the CG center of gravity of your multirotor. Your GPS can be mounted anywhere on your multirotor, wherever you see fit. In case of Only Flying Machines X650, we have a very nice place given to mount the GPS antenna on top of this cover. So when the cover is sitting here, the GPS antenna can be mounted right here. Okay, so I will mount it later after everything has been installed. When mounting the GPS, please remember that there is an arrow on the GPS and it should point to the forward section of your quadcopter or your multi-rotor. If it is not pointing to the forward section, your flight will have trouble. So make sure this arrow is pointing to the forward section of your quadcopter. Uh, how far your GPS should be from the center of gravity does not make much difference. So make sure to mount it anywhere you want, but the arrow should point to the forward section of your multirotor. Later video, we will also show you how to calibrate the GPS and compass before the flight. This GPS, as you can see, includes Compass Insight. Now, my data radio is sitting backside, okay? And this data radio will be communicating with the data radio on the ground. And this data radio is connected to Wi-Fi unit, okay? And Wi-Fi unit will be communicating with my router. So router can be sitting anywhere on your field where you can power it. So once again, Wi-Fi will communicate with the router, router will communicate with your smartphone or iPad, Android pad devices. Wi-Fi will send the data to the data radio, data radio will send the data to another data radio, 
and it will communicate with the YSX6 components so you will have more range, 3 to 5 km. Alright, now what about the connections? Just watch the previous video, you will know. So you can see, GPS is connected on G1, G2. EXT123 will connect your camera gimbal servos. M1 to M6 or M1 to M8 will be your ESCs. So in my case, I'm using a quadcopter. I have four ESCs. Accordingly, they will be connected here. So if you're looking at ESC1, ESC2, ESC3, ESC4. So accordingly, see your ESC leads and connect them to M1, M2, M3, M4. I would highly recommend that you actually remove the red cable from your ESCs. All your ESCs should remove the red cable, otherwise you'll be supplying too much power to your YSX6 and might burn your unit. So once you have connected the ESCs, your IMU unit is connected on I1, I2. There's no way you can connect them wrong. Alright, so this side connections are done. Coming to this side, you can see the power is supplied with the P. Okay, this is the power cable supplied, which is also powering the Wi-Fi uh, wi unit or also powers the data radio. Okay, if you're not using data radio, here will be Wi-Fi unit. It will power it as well. And uh, you can always connect the battery and only power the components first. And then so it's very, very safe to use it. Your LED is a very important component of YSX6 and it can visually tell you the flight, st uh, flight status that you're in. So don't forget to connect it. Your LED will connect to your LED port. So connect the LED to the LED port and make sure to mount the LED at a, at a position where you can easily see it, where it's very highly visible during flight. So either mount it this way, so it's pointing downwards and it will flash the light downwards, or you can mount it this way so it will point forward and flash the light forward. So you can mount it in the forward section, backwards on the skids, or highly recommend, recommend it under the frame so you can see it when the quadcopter or your multirotor is in the air. And then your Wi-Fi unit or data radio is connected to your COM3. Now, the last but not least, your receiver. The receiver that you're using, uh, no matter 5 channel, 6 channel, 8 channel, at least you need to use 6 or 7 channels. So your receiver will be connected here. Watch my previous video once again. So you can see aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, channel 5, channel 6, 7, 8 will connect accordingly here. And these leads are coming from your receiver. So once this is connected, all you need to do is make sure this one is mounted with the double-sided tape. No vibration coming to here. And especially no vibration, no vibration at all should come to your IMU unit. So provided uh, there is a mount for IMU unit, either use it or use some good double-sided tape and make sure the IMU unit doesn't get any vibration. After everything is mounted, I will show the setup once again. And then we will go ahead, configure the router. After configuring the router, we will go ahead and give it a flight.